This is the guy we're talking about. Every time Charlie Kirk tells a lie, his face recedes into his head by another inch, and pretty soon he's going to turn into an actual corn cob as he saunters away, screaming, I'm not owned, I'm not owned! What do you think socialism is? Because I think you're misunderstood. Um, socialism is what I see. Oh, and what do you see? The implementation of totalitarian. No, 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 Charlie, don't take a sip of water so you can catch your breath because you can't keep up with your own bullshit. Finish your thought. Totalitarian control on the means of the best interest of people under the guise of the failed doctrine of Marx and Engels. What a buzzword salad if I've ever heard one. So socialism is the implementation of totalitarian control on the means of the best interests of people under the guise of the failed doctrine of Marx and Engels. What Charlie Kirk is actually trying to say, but he's too much of a pussy to get it out, is that socialism is the totalitarian control of the means of production. But he can't say the phrase means of production because that is somehow validating Marx. And what's hilarious is that he's actually describing capitalism, which is the totalitarian control over the economy via capitalists and the capitalist class, who are literally private owners of the public resources and the public good. That is capitalism. So once again, world's smartest capitalist simp try not to describe the features of capitalism while blaming a socioeconomic system that he clearly does not understand named socialism. If there was any shred of objectivity in Charlie Kirk's propaganda, he would have said that socialism is the workers' control over the means of production, not totalitarian. Remember that the word totalitarian, according to people like Charlie Kirk, describes only communist governments or socialist governments. Never do capitalism. You'll never hear the word dictatorship, authoritarian, or totalitarian to describe a capitalist economy and to describe a capitalist government. But that's exactly what this is. We live in a corporate dictatorship. There is totalitarian control over the economy, Charlie Kirk. It's controlled by corporations, and chiefly a handful of them in this age of monopoly capitalism. That is an uncontrovertible fact, but all we ever get from people like Charlie Kirk is buzzword soup propaganda. Bro, just say the means of production. And notice how he looks up like he just thought of the phrase. Control on the means of the best interest of people. The means of the best interests of the people. What a big tell. This guy is a clown. Somebody get me on stage with this guy. I will destroy him. Did you know that every time Charlie Kirk tells a lie, his face recedes another inch into his head? Eventually, he will turn into an actual corn cob. No, it actually does, because everywhere socialism, socialism has been implemented, you've um, seen catastrophic human deaths. I'll let, um, you know, so, I'll let you know what socialism is. Well, what makes you a subject matter expert on the 100 million people that have died? Are you a Typical capitalist simp. Too coward to own up to his own ideology's handiwork. Charlie Kirk says... Everywhere socialism, socialism has been implemented, you've um, seen catastrophic human deaths. What Charlie Kirk actually means is that everywhere socialism is implemented, it is bombed and starved by his favorite country, the United States. If Charlie Kirk's thesis is that socialism is so bad that it simply fails on its own, then why is it that his country's number one foreign policy objective is to destroy socialism using every powerful lever of force that they can muster? Why does the United States coup Bomb, starve, sanction, embargo, blockade, illegally invade every socialist development in the world. Why is this articulated by top level US policy planners like Henry Kissinger, who in the governmental record has stated that the United States fears what they call the domino theory, that any form of socialist development were it to take foot in a small island nation like Guam or in a big country like Russia, it could not be tolerated because it could spread. It would give people the idea that capitalism could be overthrown, that there was a different way of organizing society than the capitalist mode of production. Notice Charlie Kirk's selective moral outrage when it comes to 100 million deaths, which was even debunked by the same people that made that claim and published it. When there has been study after study by accredited institutions like Oxfam, 
which studies global poverty and inequality every year, which has concluded that capitalism kills 5 million starving children every year because it's not profitable to save them, because food is not a human right, because these people are poor and they deserve to die because they can't pay for food. That is capitalism. Where is Charlie Kirk's outrage for the 5 million children that die every year? Just children. Remember that capitalism kills 100 million people every five years. Where is Charlie Kirk's outrage for the prevailing political economy that we live in today, which is responsible for all of the devastation that is being inflicted upon the world, particularly in the global south? Propagandists like Charlie Kirk only care about deaths that they can politicize to fit their pro-capitalist narrative, which in this case, the claim communism has killed 100 million people is completely debunked. And it's true, communism has killed millions of people. They were called Nazis. And that for some reason really, really aggravates Hitler types like Charlie Kirk. Yeah, let's talk about socialism and communism because I can name okay. all 75 failed socialism? Marxist examples on five continents over the last 100 years. Yes, go ahead. Please name all the 75 failed experiments of socialism. Let's see if we can find one socialist development that was not intervened illegally by the United States. Let's find one socialist development throughout the world which the United States did not bomb or starve in some form or another. If socialism fails on its own, Charlie Kirk, then why does it require a trillion dollar PR industry and a trillion dollar military industrial complex fighting it tooth and nail everywhere it pops up in the world? Why is the United States so frightened of socialism if there's no need to be? If it just simply dies on its own and it's completely dysfunctional, why does the United States fear it so much? Why is it the United States' only enemy? I turned Charlie Kirk into Charlie Twerk because by the time I'm done with him, he's a booty clapper because I nuked him. But he's trying to say that literally socialism is the... Im this is the word-for-word -word definition that Charlie Kirk... And now I'm beginning to understand why these right-wing nutjobs only want to field questions and talk with other college kids. You know, they're like half their age because they can't actually, uh, you know, take on someone with, you know, an actual argument or, or is good at, you know, countering in real time. But he says, uh, the questioner asks him, what is socialism? And socialism is, he says, is what he sees. And he says, socialism is the implementation, this is word for word, socialism is the implementation of totalitarian control of the means of the best interests of people under the guise of a failed doctrine written by Marx and Engels. So let's, re let's, go, let's go through that one more time. Charlie Twerk says that socialism is, quote, the implementation of totalitarian control on the means of the best interests of people, excuse me, the means of the best interests of people under the guise of a failed doctrine created by Marx and Engels. Uh, and that is just a buzzword salad soup if I've ever heard one. And I think it's really telling, it's really funny because uh, for many things to unpack there, but for one, he doesn't, he doesn't say the means of production. He can't say the means of production. He has to say the means of the best interests of people. What the fuck does that mean? The means of the... Socialism is the implementation of totalitarian control for the means of the best interests of the people. That actually sounds pretty based, now that I think about it. I want the, be the, I want the best interests of the people to have control, to have authority, to have totalitarian control. Um, and that leads me to my second point, that you'll never hear a right-winger speak of totalitarian when referring to a capitalist economy, the free market, you know, the supposed free market at least. You'll always hear them refer to totalitarian, authoritarian, dictatorship, to communist, or what they call regimes, or socialist regimes. Uh, remember, they have regimes, communists have regimes, we have democracies. What's funny is that you know, every form of government is totalitarian, okay? Every form of government is a dictatorship. It's just a, dict a dictatorship for who? It is the authority for who? All governments are imbued with authority. That's what gives them their power. That's what gives them their relevance. They can enact uh, legislation and they can wield institutional leverage over society and, and influence public life. So to say that, uh, you know, a communist government is totalitarian is, is, is just like, it, it's, it doesn't even mean anything anymore. Um, so, yeah, but no, for Charlie uh, Quirk, 
uh, it, socialism is the implementation of totalitarian control on the means of the best interest of people. And I think that he says the means of the best interest of people, which is to say that he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about, is because he's too afraid to say means of production. They don't want to acknowledge the means of production, do they? Charlie Quirk. Let's do the meme. Where's his meme where his head gets smaller? Shrinking head. Yeah, they always give the same answer, you know? I mean, you hear the same answer, and it's all, you know, it's so easily debunked. I mean, he even repeated the 100 million deaths. Communism is 100 million deaths. The selective moral outrage of a debunked number, even debunked by the same people that had made the initial claim that communism killed 100 million people. And you know what? You know what's, you know what's crazy is that, yes, communism did kill millions of people. They're called Nazis. I'm sorry that gets you so bent out of shape. You wish they didn't kill so many Nazis, Charlie Kirk. So brave. What a brave, brave in it. But yeah, the fact that they can't say the means of production, as if that's somehow valid, they're, they're like a dog whistle. They can't be validating Marx. That was sort of, you know, Marx's thing, means of production. And it also makes me think, it's a very socialist, right? A socialist idea, the means of production, apparently. Even though it seems ubiquitous, it seems like it should be common sense. But uh, the point is that um, the means of production, what, what do culture warriors like Charlie Kirk need for you to believe? What do they need for you to think? They need you to think that it's a culture war, basically. They don't ever want to, they don't want to talk about the economy. They don't want to give you, uh, they don't want to acknowledge that the economy is a totalitarian economy under capitalist rule. Uh, you know, a, we're living in a corporate dictatorship, okay? There is totalitarian control. So when you say that socialism is the implementation of totalitarian control on, on the means, and let's say the means of production, because that's what you really mean. So let's correct your mistake there. Not the best interest of people. Let's just call it what it is. It's the economy. It's socialism is totalitarian control over the economy. Uh, well, what you forget is that there already is totalitarian control over the economy. That's always been the case. It's just a Control for who? By who? And in a capitalist society, the economy is totalitarianistically controlled by capitalists. So it's not, it's not, that's not even a, really a, you're not really doing anything by, by giving us this definition. It's not even a real definition. It's pretty vague, pretty broad, and we're supposed to accept that totalitarian control is a pejorative term and not go into it. Don't look too deeply into these words that he's saying because there's nothing there, you know? And you'll find that it's all projection and it's all hypocritical. So uh, let's just say that he's saying that the socialism is the totalitarian control, or is the implementation of the totalitarian control, excuse me, of the means of production, over the means of production. Let's just say that's what actually Charlie Kirk was, too, was trying to say, but he's too much of a pussy to say. Um, well, in that case, like I said, we already have that under capitalism. You're describing capitalism. Capitalist simp try not to project its own, uh, the, the consequences and contours of capitalism onto another socio-political economy that they don't understand and aren't living in currently. Name socialism, challenge impossible, right? It's um, pretty silly. What you're actually doing is you're describing capitalism. But I like that you co-opted best interests of the people as if uh, socialism is trying to pervert that when it's actually a proponent of the people. It is a working class ideology and you, Charlie Kirk, whether you know it or not, are part of the working class. And you cannot divorce the politics from the economy. And you hear the president trying to divorce violence from politics. Every violent act is political, okay? To say that Trump, uh, you know, getting a, an assassination attempt on his life, um, you know, is a political, an act of political violence, but not, you know, the Gazan genocide uh, is silly. You, you guys love political violence. Joe Biden thrives on political violence. Our whole economy is built on political violence. There's no greater proponent of political violence than the United States. It's the uh, modus operandi. It's the sea we're swimming in. You know, it's inescapable. That's what rules the world is political violence. It's just violence done by who and for who and against who. Homelessness is political violence. Yeah, I mean, it's a policy decision. That's called social murder. And that's another thing that we should be recognizing, that social murder is murder. Economic violence is violence. The two amount to the same thing. If you were being starved to death and you die, well, that's an act of violence. If you're food insecure, that's an act of violence. But I think, yeah, I think right-wingers just don't, they, they want you to fight that culture war. That's why it's, uh, you have apartheid collide, who's stoking the flames of the culture war. 
all these uh, so-called intellectual conservatives, that's what they do, that's what you got to get people to focus on. Because their policies in the economy are, are, are indefensible. They know that they can't defend them because it's all service of power. And it's built on this meritocratic lie. Of course, we know all that. But, um, you know, the it's the economy, silly. And anyway, he goes on to say, I would just, like, pull it up. It'd probably be a better stream if I just showed you the clip. Actually, I did, in fact, share the clip. I'll, sh I'll show you. Maybe I just play it. I don't know. Maybe I just play that shit. Here it is. I just roasted his ass. It's because I think you're misunderstood. Um, socialism is what I see. Oh, and what do you see? The implementation of totalitarian. No, 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 Charlie. Don't take a sip of water so you can catch your breath because you can't keep up with your own bullshit. How Finish meta your is thought. this? Totalitarian control on the means of the best interest of people under the guise of the failed doctrine of Marx and Engels. What a buzzword Told you. salad if I've ever heard one. So socialism is the implementation of totalitarian control on the means of the best interests of people under the guise of the failed doctrine of Marx and Engels. Wow. What Charlie Kirk is actually trying to say, but he's too much of a pussy to get it out, is that socialism is the totalitarian control of the means of production. But he can't say the phrase means of production because that is somehow validating Marx. And what's spitting. hilarious is that he's actually describing capitalism, which is the totalitarian control over the economy via capitalists and the capitalist class, who are literally private owners of the public resources and the public good. That is capitalism. So once again, world's smartest capitalist simp try not to describe the features of capitalism while blaming a socioeconomic system that he clearly does not understand named socialism. If there was any shred of objectivity in Charlie Kirk's propaganda, he would have said that socialism is the workers' control over the means of production, not totalitarian. Remember that the word totalitarian, according to people like Charlie Kirk, describes only communist governments or socialist governments, never do capitalism. You'll never hear the word dictatorship, authoritarian, or totalitarian to describe a capitalist economy and to describe a capitalist government. But that's exactly what this is. We live in a corporate dictatorship. There is totalitarian control over the economy, Charlie Kirk. It's controlled by corporations, and chiefly a handful of them in this age of monopoly capitalism. That is an uncontrovertible fact, but all we ever get from people like Charlie Kirk is buzzword soup propaganda. Bro, just say the means of production and notice how he looks up like he just thought of the phrase. Control on the means of the best interest of people. On the means of the best interest of the people. What a big tell, this guy is a clown. Somebody get me on stage with this guy, I will destroy him. Did you know that every time Charlie Kirk tells a lie, his face recedes another inch into his head? Eventually he will turn into an actual corn cob. What do you think socialism is? Because I think you're misunderstood. Um, socialism is what I see. Oh, uh, that guy is handsome as fuck and fucking spitting. Okay, not that. Dixon, border Cambodian genocide. Sent cruise missiles to Sudan, people died. Gave the orders to do drone strike.